Hello friends, nice to see you today. I'm Mrs. Erbach and this is Charlie and we're so happy you've joined us. I've got a wonderful story to share with you today and two great songs and a very different kind of musical instrument that I'm going to be using in one of the songs. But first, let's look at this quilt behind me. This quilt is called Summertime Picnic. Think of summertime. It's a time you want to be outside because it's sunny and bright and warm and the grass is green and the flowers are growing. Doesn't that quilt just make you want to take it outside and have a picnic? Summertime is a great time for a picnic. Well, summertime begins with our letter of the day. If you know what letter is at the beginning of the word summertime, go ahead and say it while I draw it. Here's a hint. It's our curviest letter. Did you guess letter S? Good job. Here's a big S. Let's write a little s. A little s looks just like a big s, only smaller. And s makes the sound s. What's an animal that makes that sound s as it slithers on the ground? Right, a snake. Do you want to make a snake with your body? That would be a good way to make the letter S. We could be an S-shaped snake. Go ahead and slither and be an S-shaped snake while you go S. Well done. I'm proud of you for trying. Let's put our S up on the summertime picnic quilt. It's time to play I Spy. I spy with my little eye something that begins with the letter S that you might sail out on the ocean. Sailboat. Good job. Sailboat begins with S. I spy with my little eye something that shines all summer long. Did you find the sun? Sun begins with S. I spy with my little eye some girls on a team that begins with the letter S. What kind of team are they on? Soccer team. Soccer begins with S. Do you like to play soccer? It's fun to kick a ball, isn't it? There's one more. Let's find it. I spy with my little eye something that begins with S that you find near the ocean. Did you spot the seashells? Seashells begins with S. Good job. Let's sing our ABCs. What are you going to do with your body to show that you know we're at the letter S? Good idea. All right, you do that when we get to S. Let's begin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Thank you for singing with me. Well, we've been talking about summertime, but today's story is from a time of year that's the opposite of summertime. So if summertime is really hot, the time of year I'm talking about, the temperature is going to be really cold, right? And do you know what season it is when it's the coldest? Winter. And in some places in wintertime, it snows. And do you hear that sound at the beginning of the word snow? What letter did we learn makes that sound? S. Good job. So our story today is called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats, published originally by the Viking Press. 
One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Do you live somewhere where sometimes it snows? And what is that like when you wake up and snow has fallen? Is that exciting? It was exciting for Peter. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Do you see these? These are his footprints. And he's walking this way, right? Because there's Peter in his red snowsuit. So the front part of his foot would be his toes. And you can see they're further away from each other. So first he walked with his toes out and his heels together. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Now can you see the back part, the heels are further apart and his toes are pointed together. Stick out your feet right now and first put your heels together and make your toes point out. <laughs> and then switch and make your toes touch together and have your heels stick out. If you were walking in snow like that, you would make footprints just like Peter did. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. Because in the snow, if you drag something, it just makes a straight line, doesn't it? And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. So if each of these lines is one of Peter's feet, and how many feet does he have? Two, right? What do you think he might have found that he could drag along to make a new track? Good idea. Maybe it was a stick. <gasps> it was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Look at the tree and the snow in the branches. And he's banging the stick against the tree to smack it down. <laughs> down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. <laughs> And there he is trudging through the snow again. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not just yet. Eventually, but right now, if they're much bigger than him, the snowball fight probably wouldn't be very fun. Why do you think? Yeah, they'd throw a lot of snowballs and he'd get hit a lot with snowballs, but he might not be able to make them as fast and throw them back. That's okay. Someday he'll be able to join in. So he made a smiling snowman. Have you ever built a snowman before? Raise your hand if you have. It's fun to build a snowman. And if you haven't built a snowman before, that's something you can look forward to doing someday. And he made angels. Do you see how he's making his snow angel? He lays on his back and he makes his legs go back and forth while he keeps his legs straight. And he makes his arms go up and down. And then when he gets up very carefully so as not to disturb the snow, it looks like a snow angel, doesn't it? He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. Does that look like fun to you? I think so. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. A warm bath is the perfect thing to do after coming in from a cold, snowy day, isn't it? I wonder if he's telling his rubber ducky all about his adventures. 
Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Do you know why the snowball wasn't there? What happened when the snowball got into the warm house? It melted and all it left was a wet spot in his coat. But I don't think Peter realizes that it melted. What might have been a good thing for Peter to do to his snowball when he got home so it would not have melted? Yes, he could put it in the freezer. Then it would stay cold. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. Look at his face. How does he feel about all that snow? He is so happy. Do you think he's going to go out and play in it again? Let's find out. <laughs> After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. How fun he gets another snow day and this day he gets to spend with his friend. Doesn't that make you wish that it was the middle of winter and we could go out and play with snow? Right after we talked about our summertime picnic? <laughs> well, the first song that I would like to sing for you today, I hope you'll join in if you know it. It's called, It's a Small World. And there is a ride at an amusement park called Disneyland called Small World. And they play this song over and over and over. But it's a fun song to know and to sing along to. And every time the chorus comes in, that's the same. So if you don't know the rest of the song, you can join in on the chorus. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of hopes and a world of fears. There's so much that we share that it's time we're aware. It's a small world after all. 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 It's a small, small world. There is just one moon and one golden sun, and a smile means friendship to everyone. Though the mountains divide and the oceans are wide, it's a small world after all. 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 It's a small, small world. Isn't that a fun song? I chose this next song because not only does the title begin with the letter S, but the title is one of the words in our quilt. Do you remember what our quilt was called? Summertime Picnic. Well, this song is called Summertime. And I wanted to keep a little beat in this song because it's a jazzy kind of song. You know, sometimes we snap or I've played the bucket drum before, but I didn't feel like doing those things today. They felt a little loud. And then I found this. I have this little plastic egg and inside it's got little beads. And sometimes you can keep rhythm with that. But it was not quite what I was looking for either. Summertime makes me think of lazy days out on a quilt having a picnic. And this wasn't lazy enough, but I wanted something. And then I got an idea. I'm going to use these note cards as a musical instrument because I realized when I rubbed them together, they gave me the sound I wanted. Kind of a lazy, almost like the breeze through the tall grass. So what I'm going to do is fold them in half because otherwise they were kind of too long to work with. I'll fold this one in half. And I'm going to hold them on the short sides and just brush one against the other. Do you hear that? It's just a subtle sound, but it's just enough to give a little rhythm to the song and give that kind of lazy kind of quiet sound of rustling grass. So, I have never done this before, but that's the fun thing about music. You don't have to have some fancy instrument. 
we can make instruments out of note cards. All right, I'll give this a try. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Oh, your dad is rich and your ma is good looking. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. One of these mornings, you're gonna rise up singing. Then you'll spread your wings and you'll take to the sky. But till that morning, ain't a nothing can harm you with your daddy and mommy standing by. Well, that worked for what I was looking for. How did that sound to you? That's all we have today, but I will see you next time when we go to our next letter of the day. Be sure to subscribe, and as you go about the rest of your day, listen for words that begin with Maybe the sun will pop out from behind the clouds. Or after this video, you could go have a snack. And be sure to say thank you and give a smile, hear that S, to the person who gave you a snack. Well, before we go, hold out this arm and wrap it around your body. And hold out your other arm and wrap it around the other way. And give yourself a great big hug because you are special and you are loved. Bye-bye.